Hi, my YouTube family. It is I, Sonika. How is everyone doing on this blessed day that the Lord has given us? Oh my goodness. I feel so blessed. And it's like an overwhelmingness of blessings. I just, whew, just so thankful for the Lord. He has blessed me and my family in so many ways. And I just know that I wouldn't be at this moment without him. So, just want to get that out of the way. It's been on my mind. Had to share it with somebody. Um, <clears throat> but, it's my update. Had my appointment today, so figured I'll go ahead and update y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. I'll be 13 weeks tomorrow. Hey, ho, can't believe it. I was just talking to my husband today. And I was like, babe, I'm going to be 13 weeks. Like, seriously, 13 weeks. Like, I was so anxious to get to, to 10 weeks. And then once I got to 10 weeks, it's like, it just flew. Now I'm 13 weeks. Whew, getting to 10 weeks was like really, really slow. But now it's just like flying. Okay, so my last update was 8 to 10 weeks. So this one will be 11 and 12. And I can honestly say with the combination of them both, nothing eventful or different has happened. Um, still nauseated. Still have excessive saliva, y'all. Um... The only thing I can say as far as like health wise, I've more short I get shortness of blah, blah, blah. I get shortness of breath um easier now. Um so that's that's happening. So I've been and I've been really fatigued, like oh my goodness, I'm just so tired. I will sleep all day. And when I say all day, I mean all day. I mean like all day. I won't wake up until eleven, twelve 1 a.m. <laughs> so it's like I don't I don't eat like if I do eat a snack throughout the day like if I feel like I'm getting like if I start feeling like really really sick and I um I, I feel like my sugar is really low then I'll get up and I'll give me like some turkey turkey and cheese and wrap it up and just eat the turkey and cheese like that or pickles pickles is my number that's my craving is pickles I don't know like pickles and lemons stuff like that oh my goodness I've eaten those all day so yummy um let's see so like I said the nausea the fatigue all that um constipation is back I'm taking my Miralax but I mean I'm not in pain like I, I don't have the urge to go basically it's like I know I have not used the bathroom since Tuesday so but I don't have the urge to go. Like sometimes like when I'm sitting on the toilet, I can feel like my stomach crampy in that area, but that's about it. Um, I stopped my progesterone, hallelujah. I was so tired of sticking things up me. I'm like, I was done. I'm like, ugh. I was gonna do it until like 13 and a half. Like I felt like that would've been like my safe zone. But I was like, Psh, God got this, 12 weeks. Mm. I think I stopped 11 weeks, six days. I didn't even do it that night. <laughs> I was done. I was like, mm -mm, can't do it anymore. I'm done. I'm so tired. Of, mm, just done with it. So, no more progesterone. I've, I've done that. Um, urinating. I was having like some burning when I was urinating, and uh, always having to use the bathroom. But when I go, it's not like a lot. I feel like it's a lot, but then it's not. So I figured I had a UTI. <sighs> Call the doctor. He told me, no, your urine was clean. I was like, really. So they was like, oh, well, maybe you need to take a monostat. Maybe, you know, you got a yeast infection or something like that. And I'm like, so you want me to stick something? You want me to stop? Just stop sticking stuff up there, y'all. I stop. Oh. But do what I have to do. But I'm still having it. So doctor prescribed me something stronger that I have to stick up there. So she said maybe it's a... It's a yeast or something that Monistat doesn't cover. Because I didn't know that Monistat only cover like a specific yeast. But there are so many different yeasts. And she said, this one will cover all yeast. But I'm not itchy, you know, or anything like that. But, you know, 
it is what it is. Let's see. Also, they put me on some medicine for my excessive um, saliva. And today is the first day that I've taken it. And as you can see, it's not working. <laughs> I'm still... It's just, um, um, what else has been going on? Told y'all my cravings. Um, which is pickles. Lemons. I didn't know I liked lemons. I mean, I, I knew I liked lemons, but... You know, it's like, once I, I had some today, and oh my goodness, I was just sitting up there eating them like they were oranges. I had to kept telling the lady, I said, can you give me some more lemons? Can you give me some more lemons? <laughs> um, emotional. Still emotional. Cry for anything my husband said that I got a quick temper. He said, I asked him today, I said, well, do it seem like I'm like really moody? And he, he just looked at me and he was like, you have your moment. <laughs> I'm like, really? Really? But I mean, I, I know I cry at the drop of the bat, but mm. so as you all know, I had my I had got a genetic test done in week ten. Call for the results because they hadn't called me; it had been like two weeks. I was like, you know, um, you know, what's the results? They tell me, oh, um, they were inconclusive. Um, they said that I didn't have enough fetal DNA in my system to read anything. So I had to retake it today. Mm, I was kind of disappointed because um, we was ready to tell the kids. And we wanted to tell them when we found out the sex. So now we don't know. And I, so I got to wait another week. They say it should be another week. So I got that done today. Um, my blood pressure, normal again. My um, weight, I've actually lost three pounds. No surprise. You know, all I do is throw up and y'all when I say I throw up I mean I throw up hard it's ridiculous I mean I'm just uh, and it's like <sighs> the, other, the other day I threw up so hard I peed on myself like literally pee like the pee just started rolling down I'm just like uh, and it's like the more I girls take the more pee came rolling down my leg I was like oh my goodness seriously <sighs> seriously um what else I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes because I know my videos be kind of long so I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes but oh so like I said today went in Ugh. today went in and um with my MFM specialist she um I see my MFM every two weeks and I see my OB every two weeks so I'm basically going to the doctor every week because I see one every other week so every week I'm going to have to doctor but, um, so I'm happy men. Like I said, my blood pressure was normal. My oxygen was 99. Hallelujah. My, um, weight, lost three pounds. So everything was good. All my stuff was good. And then she let me see my little biscuit, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Look how big biscuit done got. Can y'all believe this? Like, seriously. Look how big biscuit done got. Look at him. Look, when she put that thing on my stomach and pipe popped up on the screen, I was like, who baby is that? Because <laughs> I could go from this, y'all, this little bit of itty bitty thing to this big old thing. I mean, look at the difference, y'all. This is just two weeks. Two weeks. Oh my goodness, that's some serious growing. But basically was in there and just squirming around and punching and kicking and Oh, it was such a beautiful sight to see. I just, oh, I felt so blessed just to see something like that. But, all in all, biscuit is going good. Um, I had to remind my doctor about my uh, abnormal breast because uh, the thing that's going on with Kay, it made me remember about my abnormal uh, biopsy. And I have to get a check every six weeks because I have uh, warts and stuff growing inside my milk duds, ducts. And they can turn cancerous. So I have to get them checked like every six months. And I am due for a checkup. So I had to tell her about that. And uh, so she was like, she's going to look into that and get me. I can't get a, a um, what you call that, mammogram? 
not now she said but then I told her I said, she said you know you can only have so much radiation in pregnancy like I think she said 50 or 0.5 or something like that because too much radiation um, can cause leukemia in the baby the baby can grow up and develop leukemia she says one in three thousand but I don't, I don't want to risk that with my child and she said that um then I'll remind her I'm like well I have to have a cat scan on my lungs and she said I would have to pick which one I want to do do I want to do the um, mammogram or the cat scan and she said personally you should do the cat scan because the pats the cat scan can show progressively you know a cat scan my lungs can worsen progressively you know it could just turn in a matter of a minute you know and she said well with this in my breast she said you know that that's something slow processing so she thinks that it can wait so I also want to know does that would that affect me breastfeeding I mean I'm not sure I want to breastfeed I've never been one of the women who felt like they need to breastfeed that's just not me I'm not that person um but sometimes I think about it I think about it so and I'm just wondering is that an option for me because you know if I have warts growing inside my milk ducts then you know what does that mean as far as me producing milk like is can my baby even get nourished off of that so it's just something that I, I, I think about from time to time like sometimes I'm thinking like maybe I rush me like the first six weeks or something like that you know but I don't know so that is my update y'all not much is going on oh also I feel biscuit a moving up in there I can feel like at first it was like little I still feel a little flutters but every now and then I feel a little I feel just a little like a little tap <laughs> and um it loves the left side like right now I have to use the bathroom I have to use the bathroom which is why I'm about to go but because it's pressing on my bladder but I feel him on the left side mostly um so it's very awesome it's an awesome feeling i can't wait until it gets to the point where i don't want him to kick anymore <laughs> i'm happy i'm i just yeah so that is my update for week 11 and 12. i have an appointment Monday and I will update y'all after that to let y'all know exactly what's going on and if I happen to forget something because I always forget something always <laughs> I also have some baby buys that I want to share with y'all that I had bought off of this app called mama and um some cute stuff so I might make that a separate video I love watching baby buys so maybe somebody will enjoy mine so that is all just remember more prayer, more power. No little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. God bless everybody. Be safe. Oh, y'all, and also, it's my birthday. My birthday was last week. I'm 36 now. Woohoo! Blessed with another year. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.